There are serial entrepreneurs, and then there's Howard Tolman. The frenetic 62-year-old has started 10 companies in 28 years, dealing in everything from auto repair software to venture capital to product promotions. Now Tolman is turning his sights on education, a business long dominated by nonprofits and governments. His latest venture, Flashpoint Academy, a loop-based school that trains students to create video games, music videos, and special effects. Of the top 20 fastest growing jobs, animation, uh, digital filmmaking, and everything related to digital internet commerce are all among the top 20 uh, growth areas. Vocational schools, including big Chicago names like DeVry and Career Education, have at best a rocky business history. But that isn't stopping Tolman. Flashpoint admitted its first class of 140 students in January. It's expecting another 300 freshmen when school starts in September, each of whom will pay $25,000 a year for the two-year program. That'll translate into about $5 million in revenue this year. Flashpoint is not Tolman's first educational startup. He also runs Experientia, a Chicago-based company that teaches grade school students about real-world occupations through a role-playing exercise in an elaborate, simulated city. Tolman's introduction to the education business came in 2002, when he was brought in to run Kendall College. While saving the culinary school from financial ruin, he came to see that a properly run for-profit institution could fill a critical gap and turn a tidy profit. I focused in on underserved populations small scale, but scale nonetheless, and industries where I think the, the payoff is real. So at Kendall, we didn't talk about training kids to be uh, line you know, cooks at McDonald's. We talked about Melman and Schulman and Levy and said hospitality and culinary is the second largest employer in the United States behind the federal government. So huge opportunities if you raise the bar. So who is the Flashpoint customer? the C student who spends his time in his parents' basement tinkering with computers and playing video games. Tolman believes many of those kids will either skip college or drop out, but the skills they have, if refined, can be highly valuable in today's digital world. There are real jobs in these professions that are much broader than just, oh, my kid's going to be a filmmaker. It's my kid's going to do corporate video for McDonald's. He's going to do filming for the city of Chicago. He's going to make special programming for the Olympics. All of these are opportunities. To train these students, Tolman and his co-founder, Chicago venture capitalist Rick Landry, sunk $5 million into creating a state-of-the-art facility with top-of-the-line editing systems, production sets, and a recording studio. To fund the build-out and launch Flashpoint, they raised $16 million from private investors. And while Flashpoint may be an unproven concept, investors are clearly betting on Tolman and his track record. Of the 10 companies he has started, only one has failed. But if Flashpoint is to be another Tolman success story, he also must convince skeptical parents that he can turn their offspring into well-paid digital content creators. To prove his know-how, Tolman points to another past venture, making video games. In 1996, he developed a successful game based on the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Eraser. The storyboard he wrote hangs in a Flashpoint computer lab. This game has uh, 2,800 outcomes because the um, everything varies. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? But for Tolman, Flashpoint isn't a game, it's a business, where the only outcome that matters is the bottom line. One of the fun things here is teaching another generation, all these kids, just about hard work and how ultimately it comes down to uh, believing in what you're doing, working like a pig, and being sort of accountable for what goes on here.